jihad of the nafs. There is a political jihad to fight and to expand and to open up lands where people can go and see Islam because otherwise Islam will be you know, not presented to them. This is how it's been in the past. But this other concept of jihad is the struggle of your own, against your own self to make you constantly better. Better so that you are better with him or her or you with your father or your mother, with your brother, with your sister, with the animals, with the environment. Constant struggle of being better and better. Making you so much that uplifting you to be a noble person and that is why the Prophet is described as the one who is the, the Uswatun Hasana for us. The one who we can emulate as our perfect model. He showed us how to behave, how to be kind, how to be nice, how to be just, how to be interacting with others. So this is what we have to do. So I cannot just treat someone because he's black or he's white or he's fat or he's thin because he speaks another language. The Prophet said none of that. There is no difference between a black and a white or a white and a black, an Arab or a non-Arab or vice versa. The only difference between us is the one who is more God conscious, more pious. Yep. So I can say, MashaAllah, you know, very good that you know this brother or this sister you know is, is being very close to Allah you know, I wish I was like that but I cannot envy him because he's black or um, demonize him or chastise him or put him down or put her down because they are not of the same skin color of the same language or, or you know all these things that people go under racism and so on so Islam eliminated all of this this is what you expect from the religion of truth there should be no room for this kind of racism and intolerance if you don't want to believe in Islam fine that's up to you that's up to you Quran says to you your religion what you want to do but the consequences is with you and your Lord in the hereafter yeah, yeah. yeah. I like your point I agree with it so I would like to I mean because we've talked enough we want to bore you other things but I hope some of the things I said you can you should and and I would request to reflect on them reflect and say look you know my heart and my soul searches the truth if the truth is found in Islam what is my obstacle why should I make an obstacle because the Prophet was an Arab you know why does that make me any better if he was an European or so on no God can send this message to anyone to anywhere with any language he chose his final message to an area in Arabia in the language of Arabic which best suited the last message and this is one of the things the Quran actually invites people to think and reflect that if you think this Quran this message this book is not from God then produce something like it a challenge given to to imitate the Quran this is one of the main reasons the of the divine authenticity uh, argument of the Quran that it is inimitable but that's a discussion of another day how and how objective it is so this is a copy um, to, to you from our friends uh, free copy nice. please um, read and um, reflect and if you have any questions you can ask your Muslim friends neighbors or come back in speakers corner and we can talk about it I have some in yeah yeah, yeah. and, and, and um, there's some other leaflets uh, that, that people have uh, given you I mean just very small very brief do read about it some leaflets to talking about this one is about the concept of God in Islam so okay. describing it to you what who God is or what God is and so on <laughs> yeah I basically know the other side because <laughs> I, mean, like, yeah. I, I wanted to learn about the other okay. side has always something else to say because sure. it's mutable it's changeable now before I okay. start to say anything I want to tell you that okay. I so take you take no care no and, 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 and God guide us closer and closer to the truth thank okay you. thank you have a good evening thank you Mansoor right um, just let me tell you something before you before you before you, in, uh, before you um, start the discussion may I ask what's the discussion about because um, I haven't invited you, and neither have you invited me. What's the discussion? You don't have to invite anybody on speaker's call. Okay, but but I need to know whether I this did. is. And I need I'll to know. Why. I didn't. I need to know no, whether this is going to be an start, interesting I need discussion. I tell you something. I assume that your faith comes from uh, some traumatic experience in the past, and thus you are very linked personally to your faith. And I want to get something perfectly clear okay. that this is not personal. Okay. What I'm about to say, what I'm about to argue with you, is not an attack against you. It's not an attack against your person. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Because so that's what you the, told me, you had some traumatic things. Uh, so that's the end of the discussion. And I don't want to make fun of that. No, that's and the, I don't no, want no. to so that's make the end light of, the, of that's that. the end of the discussion. Um, let me shake your hands. That's not the end of the discussion. That's let just me tell the you, introduction. No, no, let me tell you why. No, that's just the introduction. Now, let's no. get to the discussion. One moment. I let me tell you why it's the end of the discussion. Go ahead. Because the moment you start discussing with me, you've already approached me with a bias and a false premise, false assumption. My religion, my belief, my faith is not based on any traumatic experience mm -hmm. at all. I didn't so, say it was based, that's I what, said it was linked. That's what you said. It is no linkage whatsoever, no correlation whatsoever with any traumatic experience. Mm -hmm. So because you come with a baggage of bias and prejudice, I would say, um, you've come to speak to the wrong person. Thank I you. think I think you need to clean your heart and start you, thinking you. differently. Maybe I should approach someone with a neutral ground. No, I have to thank um, you for that. So let's have, end the discussion. No, 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 let's not end it. But okay, I have thank to you. thank you because thank you. I will not Anyone else interested to, to offload their baggage? No, They're more than welcome. Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, that's it. Yes, I am. You really shouldn't. Yeah, no, no. I, I run away from people with lots of baggages, you know, loaded uh, concepts. Come back because I care about you as a person. I don't care about I'm your sure beliefs, you do. but I never want to hurt a person.